What's up, gangsters? I'm Sumito Skin. We're back with Harvester. In the last episode, man, we learned some odd things about this town that we're in. First of all, Steve here doesn't have a memory, and neither does Stephanie. That's so we both have st names. That's kind of odd. Stephanie also has a hole in her wall from the bathroom, which you can watch her change, which we did last time. And that also brings up the issue of why that hole's there to begin with. So her dad or someone is probably watching her. Anyway, so this is a weird little town. Everyone is weird. <laughs> Mom is baking cookies for a bake sale that's a week away. Since the cookies go stale, she throws them away and then bakes more cookies nonstop. The baby ate a wasp. And my little brother lo loves blood and gore. Like, everyone here is weird and they're all, like, threatening to me. And there's a lodge and there's just... Uh, just there's a lot of information <laughs> that's going around. It's all freaking weird. So we're supposed to get married, but she doesn't have a memory either. And I don't know. It's just, it's just odd. The, the best thing is this, this punch. I can just bust some, bust some faces. And the closet is, but let's go in here and see if we can like take a peek at her again real quick before we go and explore around. Oh, I can't. Oh, 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 there it went. Where? Yeah, she's down in those, whatever that is, I don't know. I like that music too, it's just like, da da da, you're being a creep. Oh well. Anyway, we gotta go look around town more. This guy loves meat, he even has meat on the wall. <laughs> the man of the house squeezing his meat. <laughs> oh man. Oh my. We're in the mortuary. I think I'm saying that right. And there's blood <laughs> everywhere. Hey, buddy. Stephen, who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. So this guy basically says that a lot of people have been showing up and just dying. So does that mean just people come to visit the town and are killed? Either they just like people show up. They stay at his hotel and they die, and he has to pay for all the like the burials and everything. And he's mad about it. That's curious indeed. Hmm. Very curious, mortician. Please excuse the mess. Oh my! They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Huh? That's a nice peak fire truck. Huh? Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. That must be what the lady meant in the last episode about being a fireman if you didn't like nudie magazines with girls in it. Oh my. Hey, male model. I don't converse on the job, Steve. Shut up, dog. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spots, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. Yay, yeah, Spot. You got some... Some meat. That was odd. Why did, like, so, go into some detail Steve, about that? Bet you don't Are they eating people me? here? Heard about that short and the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Sparky? Uh... Why are you sketching nude men in the fire department? Please. It's not the subject, it's the process. Don't be such a part <laughs> That butt! We're talking about art. That is beautiful art. <laughs> we haven't had a fire in harvest since the newspaper building burned down. Oh, man. So I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spots? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> tell me about the newspaper fire then. A dreadful affair. Oh no! You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Uh. <laughs> It goes arson. Oh, please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up, and so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe in his wall... Forget it. 
Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Oh. How don't you go moving? <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about your art. Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a pulsing fire hose or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So what if we're drawing a nude man? He's not even nude. So what if all we ever draw is a nude man or the same nude man over and over in all sorts of provocative positions? Context, not content. Process, not subject. Don't be so ghost, Steve. It's beneath you. All right. Well, I think I've learned all I can learn here. We'll see Bye you guys on. later. So the newspaper building burned down. I should go there next, I guess. Bye, firehouse. Bye, guys. Where's the exit? I can't get out of here. Oh, God. This place is right directly behind the fire department. I mean, like, straight up behind it. What is this? Spot. Some hidden. What is this? Bake. Burnt flyer. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Worker's button looks like a rip from cloth. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Two items. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne, and this here is Loomis. Sheriff Dwayne Pleasure, Dwayne. I reckon. Anyway, the fireman said the fire was caused by arson. I never caught the perp, though. But we found the gas what? can that was used. Yes, sir. I just asked him if it was arson. It's in the evidence room. And then they said it wasn't. Loomis, that's classified. Darn it. Guys, How many terrible at times secrets. are you going to have to tell me to keep my mouth shut, I wonder? <laughs> Sorry, boss. Jeez. Though sometimes he likes to go in the back and stain the jail mattress. Isn't that right, Loomis? Oh, now, Sheriff, what you got to go and say that for? Loomis has more than his share of problems. I wouldn't invite him to the wedding. Or if you do, make sure he doesn't catch the garter. That could be embarrassing. Wait, what are you saying about oh, Loomis here? I wouldn't do nothing, Dwayne. But I sure would like a little is he garter a than being around Is masturbator? Is that what you're saying? Oh, well, that'd be right special. <laughs> you go back there and stain the mattress? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I still remember the time she caught me holding some of them pictures up with one hand. What? She took the broom to me. Uh, holding the pictures up with one hand, huh? I howled like a hound dog. The broom going up and down. Oh, what? And straw and blood, blood and straw. And I drooped. I was crying so bad. And it was so hard I had to crawl under the porch neck and with all the black widow spiders oh, hey. and I got bit something fierce little fangs are digging into my bear behind oh, <laughs> this is a terrible did he get I ask you is that any way to treat a man what happened and with the broom did she the beat him with it, it or neither. something else I don't know. <laughs> wait there's like the broom going up and down that could be taken in different ways but yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get on it. Any time, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See you guys later. So, this is Edna's diner, but the E's burned out. So this is the DNA's diner. Is this a town full of vampires? Ah, uh, I don't know. It's not looking good. Talking about all the blood and everything. and uh, It's not good at all. Okay, so, so he, the 
sheriff was at the diner, he shouldn't be here now. And he's not, so now I'm going to give you the dirty magazine. And we're going to see what happens. See all this stuff I got. Where's my adult magazine? Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Oh. 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 oh by George. Oh. Oh, by Jiminy. <laughs> oh, here's the real thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> can I have it? Uh, yes, you can. Oh. Oh, thank you, Steve. Excuse me, get <laughs> on. I gotta go check the jail for clean towels. <laughs> oh my. No, he is reading up a storm. He <laughs> closed that door. Let's see. Door's unlocked. Oh, we got in here. The key to the evidence room. Good, good, good. What else? Anything else I can pick up in here? I'm in the note. Barely legible note. Checkbook. Sheriff, if you think I'm going to keep paying this f forever, maybe? You are crazy. There are limits. Boil. Hmm. Keep the door. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, a mannequin. Examine the doll. Not surprisingly, Loomis has tainted this evidence. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. There's the gas can. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that didn't Damn work. Oh, well, man. that didn't work. Did I take it? That was weird. All right. Uh oh. Hello, Steve. Where's Loomis? Yeah, coming around. I'm out uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> Loomis, stab you. <laughs> Wait, no, no. 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 Oh, hit him with the paper. Uh he just beating him. <laughs> bad Loomis, bad. The door's locked. <laughs> Got him. Oh man. <laughs> Stay tuned, Buckaroos. Stay There's tuned, more buckaroos. to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. <laughs> and what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. <laughs> what? Would you like my autograph, Steve? Uh, yeah, I guess. Here you go, then. Thanks. Tell me about TV violence. Violence? What about it? Jordan, what's your show? I love all the blood and corn your show. Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. <laughs> Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. That's a good question. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I rip the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. <laughs> Unless they want to go untreated for psychotic hallucinations, or wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Oh, shit! Ow! Oh, shit on a stickeroo! What? <laughs> what? Did he stab himself the in the parents foot? parents that are griping about Understand. violence on TV are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. But should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. It's their fault, now, not his. Excuse huh? me. We're going back on the air. Back on the air. <laughs> adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. <laughs> what is he saying that? There's the principal in the school, and I talked to him, and he's like, you need some quality time. And he just keeps on talking about adult quality time. I think he's hitting on me. I'm not too sure. That's weird, Mr. Principal. Very weird indeed. We don't practice corporal punishment here. 
I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. What? But a baseball bat. What? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear. Colonel Moreau is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway, quick! So... She's got a bloody bat? <laughs> That's what's wrong with their heads. She beats it with a bat. What a public school. If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Oh, man. <laughs> Amazing. Best thing ever. Oh, oh no, he's dead. All right, we're here at the, uh, the meat place, and there's a lot of animals sitting around outside and blood coming out from under the doors. Soft to a good start already. Wow. Is that a cat? Examine the splotch. This used to be a kitty cat. <laughs> All right. I'm right, here at the missile base, and does this guy not have any legs? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation, keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. Oh. These are nuclear missiles? <laughs> Goddamn right they are. <laughs> he must be trying Every to protect one us from of them the, ready the fire to rain department. death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo. The price of vodka goes through the roof. <laughs> Along with the vodka. Been in charge here since WW2. When I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Okay, so yeah, he is half of a body. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable wow. to continue in the military. What a beast. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. They all deserve a good nuclear holocaust. Wow, this guy's going crazy. <laughs> Tell me about it. Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. <laughs> so... You learn that when something actually happens, it's never as bad as you imagine it would be. So it's not that bad to have your body shot oh, in half? Oh, sure. I can't write my name in the snow. I had to shell out a few simoleons for portable IV drips, colostomy bags, and so on. But the pain is hardly what I'd call constant. I have my good days when I pass out completely. All right, soldier. You talked me into it. Unfortunately, there's only room in my shelter for one. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I just blew everything up. I think... <laughs> oh, man. Game over. All right? Yeah, I died. <laughs> oh, wow. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, good thing I saved it. Here we are at the lodge. It looks very creepy. The sergeant at arms. Wow. The hall of the order of wow, the what a voice. Did you say something? I did not speak. My mind touched your Holy crap. Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Yeah. Yeah. There are always obstacles to the path. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Mm. Paperwork. Applications are available at the post office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month. As it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. 
And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Hmm. Well, fancy. So now I know I have to go persuade Postmaster Boyle to give me one. I've talked to him already before, and like, they have they have the uh, applica applications, but they won't make them except for the beginning of the month, and they only make so many of them. So, gotta deal with that. About the gas can, then, sir. Oh my God, I can't believe it. After all this time. Yeah. Where's my application, Boyle? Here, take it. With my thanks. You know. This morning, as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You got me this can just in time, youngster. I may have need of it again. Are you gonna burn that? What do you mean? Oh, man. There's another reason why Sheriff Duane didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Why you still can? So he's gonna burn down the television station, huh? All right. Okay. Well, dang. I got my application. That's good. All right. So I have my lodge application all filled out. And we're going to turn it in to this guy. I see you've managed to acquire an application. That demonstrates resourcefulness. A desirable trait for prospective members. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. You need a rest. Report back here for your next assignment. Time to take my shirt off and go to bed, looks like. Take it off. So manly. Suck it in, Steve. Keep sucking it in. Flex a little bit. <laughs> and it is night. What do you people want from me? Welcome to our order. Hamburgers. It's the same as the intro. The exact same. What a terrible nightmare. It's not good. Something is wrong here. Bad wrong. Alright, well that's enough for this episode. Been recording for about an hour and I gotta call this down because there's so much stuff in between that doesn't matter. But today's your birthday, happy birthday. We'll see you guys next time. Stay toasty, my friends.